that you guys could do for St. Patrick's Day. Hello, hello. Today I am going to be doing something different than I usually do. Today I'm going to do a little DIY uh, holiday treat for you guys. I'm going to do five fast and simple St. Patrick's Day treats. And when I say simple, I really mean simple. It means things, I got all of this stuff at Walmart. So even if you're a procrastinator and you uh, don't have things, it's really easy. You can go to Walmart and gather all of the things for all of these treats and you'll be able to put them together really fast. They're minimal effort. Um, so I'll get making them and I'll show you how I do it. So these are all the things that I'm gonna be using for all of the different treats. Like I said, we're gonna be doing five. So some of them will require a little bit more than others, but for the most part, it's pretty simple and pretty fast. So the first thing that I'm gonna make is I'm gonna make Rice Krispie Treats with Lucky Charms. This is a cute kind of holiday Lucky Charms box where it's everything in it is green. So I'm gonna start with that because this has to sit for a little bit um, just so that they aren't too good gooey. So I'll be able to show them to you. So I'm gonna do this one first. So to do this first snack, you're gonna need Lucky Charms. You don't have to have the green ones, you can have any kind. A bag of marshmallows, there's two different sizes, well there's a couple different sizes of marshmallow bags, but this one is a 16 ounce bag, and then one cube of butter, and the next thing is optional, but I'm gonna do it, is sprinkles. And you could have just green sprinkles, or you could have rainbow colored sprinkles, whatever you want to go on top of the Rice Krispie Treats when you're finished. So. That's all you need. Okay, so first we're gonna put in the cube of butter. I love Rice Krispie Treats. This is like one of the one things that I, it seems like a really easy recipe. So I shouldn't be proud of myself that I'm good at it, but I'm good at making Rice Krispie Treats. Okay, so you put in the cube of butter. You wanna make sure the butter is all the way melted before you add the marshmallows. All right, once the butter is melted, you can put in the bag of marshmallows. I'm gonna keep just a few out for some of the other crafts that we're doing. Now that the marshmallows are all melted, I'm gonna add the Lucky Charms. You're gonna to wanna to do about five or six cups of Lucky Charms. So I'm gonna start with five and mix that up and then if it seems like there's still a lot of thick marshmallow areas, then I'll add another cup of Lucky Charms. Fun thing about this is see, the heat starts to make the marshmallows kind of melt, which kind of makes them more of a green color throughout, throughout the Rice Krispies. You don't want to mix it too much because you don't want the marshmallows to break apart. So once it's looking like that, We'll just put it into the pan. And with these ones, you don't wanna push them down too much because it'll make them a little bit too hard. We want some of the top marshmallows to look a little bit better. I'm just gonna sprinkle a few on top. Then you'll have some marshmallows that aren't melted and broken so, up. And it can pick those off and eat them? Yes. <laughs> so what I usually do is let this sit for just a second and then I take a spoon, a metal spoon, and I'll just kind of smooth it over. But I do want to add the sprinkles while it's warm so that they'll actually stick. You could go with, I'm going to kind of do rainbow sprinkles instead of doing just green. Like I said, you don't wanna pack it too much, but just to smooth it out a little bit. Look how cute they look. So there's that. So now these are just need to cool for probably about 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna leave them there like that and we'll move on to the next thing. The next treat that I'm gonna make is also takes a little bit more time. They, I wouldn't say that took a lot of time actually, but com relative to the other ones, this one takes a bit more. So we are going to make shamrock suckers add it with pretzels and melted candy. So I actually bought the green 
candy melts. You could, if you wanted to, like buy white chocolate chips and then um, food color them green if you wanted to. This was basically the same price as the white chocolate chips and then I wouldn't have to worry about the food coloring. So I went this route, but you could do whatever. It's really simple to do these. All you have to do is put them in the microwave, put them in a microwave safe bowl and melt them for like 30 seconds at a time until they get the consistency that you want. And then you can start dipping the chocolates, I mean dipping the pretzels. So I've got two bags of melts. I've got some pretzels and some sucker sticks. So that's really all you need for this one. I'm gonna put sprinkles on these ones too when we're done. So let's get started. All right, now microwave. So I'll just go like 30 seconds at a time, stop, stir, stop, stir until they start to melt. So I'm just gonna get some of this stuff ready while that's melting. So it'll be pretty easy. We're just gonna make basically like a, a three leaf clover. We'll cover them with the chocolate and then you'll put the stick in and then they'll just sit for a little bit. Ooh, they're starting to melt. Okay, it's probably only gonna need about 30 more seconds. Looks good, huh? Yeah, I kinda don't wanna wait. Oh. <laughs> We've got some sucker sticks. Now this one's gonna get a little bit messy. Just gonna grab it at the end. It's so satisfying. <laughs> okay, and now that I'm thinking about it, I'm actually gonna put some parchment paper down or some wax paper and so that we can do a bigger space. I got some gold sprinkles. I thought that might be fun. I thought we would maybe stick with like gold and green on this one since it's a shamrock. Okay, this one's pretty. It's like a fine mist. Try to do the stick a little bit more in between. We'll see if that works. Go a little heavy on the golden. Sheesh. these sit for a little while while I start making the next one. This next one is a little bit healthier, just a little bit, and we actually use fruit instead of all candy. There's still a little bit of candy though. So I've seen this one done several times before. This is actually the first time that I've ever done it though, and it was really simple. So you're gonna make a rainbow using fruit. So I'm gonna start with blueberries, and I've already pre-washed and prepped all of this fruit, so it should make it pretty easy. You wanna start out small because this actually gets a lot bigger than you would think. So this is the very beginning of the rainbow. And you could do this in two different ways. I've seen people do it in lines. You could do it in lines like this, so it's just kind of like, but I'm gonna actually make it a rainbow shape. also do bananas for this part if you wanted to all right next up is the oranges and I just pull them apart and set them right around super easy I actually did this today for the kids snack and they loved it and I got it ready in probably five minutes or less so that's really nice anything that's fast is what I like to do See how this definitely grows. So this is a pretty big cutting board and it's def it's taking the whole space even though we started pretty small. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So we're missing the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, which is super easy. Just get some Rolos in these packages and then just take a few, stack them at the ends. There is the fruit rainbow. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, 
So I thought this next one would maybe make a fun teacher gift or a gift for a friend or something like this. So it's really simple. You need, just need to get this color mist spray. So it's like food coloring that you can spray and um, it's gold. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these golden Oreos look a little bit more gold and a little bit, you can always get the chocolate coins, but this is a little bit more fun. I put this down because obviously I'm gonna be spraying and I don't wanna get anything on it. The kids have already busted into these Oreos. Are you guys golden Oreo fans or do you like regular Oreos? Yes. All of the Oreos. <laughs> if it's Oreo, then yes. All of the above. Okay, this one's really easy too. So, you just get your Oreos, get your spray. So I'm gonna let this side dry for a minute and then I'll flip them to the other side. While those are drying, I'm gonna open up this tissue. And I got this cute little bucket, because I thought it would maybe be cute. If you were giving these as a teacher gift, you just put a little bit of tissue paper in there and then stack the gold cookie coins inside. So they're nice and they're a lot more shimmery now than they were before. So they do, they, it does give them some color. I'm gonna just set this over here to dry with its little pail and then we'll do the next one. Technically we're on treat number five, but I'm giving you a little bonus and adding two in this one. So there's actually gonna be six treats. So for this, for one of these ones, this, these ones are so fast. I just bought these gold muffin tins cause they're kind of fun. And then you'll just need some marshmallows, some green M&Ms, and some Golden Graham cereal. So this is why I saved us a few marshmallows. This would be a really fun one if you're in charge of like a church activity or a school activity because it just makes a lot and it's really simple. The not fun part about this one is you have to go through and find all the green M&Ms. They do have packs of all green M&Ms, but they're mint. I didn't think mint would go so well with this, but Derek might disagree because he loves I mint. love Ooh. chocolate mint. Some golden grams in each one. And it would probably be better if you mixed these in like a bigger bag, and then you could just pour it all in. In fact, I'm gonna do that just so we get a more even consistency. Shake it up. One, two. All the M&Ms are sinking to the bottom. Three. All right. So that's so easy. And the kids would love this. I mean, I would love it, so. Okay, the next one is just about that simple. So we'll get that one ready. Okay, this one is as, as about as simple as the last one because it's just basically dumping stuff in a bag. So what you're gonna need is a clear cellophane bag, some ribbon, whatever color you want, and then you'll need Skittles, Rolos, and marshmallows. And the only thing that's important about this one is the order that you do it. So the first thing that you do is Rolos because they're the bottom, the pot of gold. And then you need clouds. You don't need a lot. And then some Skittles. Taste the rainbow. Mm -hmm. All right, and then all you need to do is just get your ribbon. See how well I can tie this. And that's that. So I'll make a couple more of these, and then we'll be done. favorite projects were the ones that took a little bit more time. This one, for sure. And it didn't take a ton of time, but I just love the way it looks. It's so bright and colorful. I love these. Look how cute they look close up with all the sprinkles. Oh, so yummy. I think the suckers turned out really good. The pretzel shamrocks, actually. So you just pull them right up off, and then some of, the, some of them had like little streams of chocolate, and I just broke them off. 
So these look, these look really good. And who doesn't like pretzels and chocolate? I don't know. But these would be definitely, these are so fast. And these turned out cute too. They're just really shimmery now instead of just the yellow. But honestly, you don't have to do that. You could just put those in there. And if I, if I would have thought I would maybe get some ribbon or something to wrap around it, you could do a little tag calling it like a pot of gold, which would be cute. There's a few ideas of snacks that you guys could do for teachers, friends, your kids, anybody for St. Patrick's Day. So be sure to like and subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. And head over to our Instagram, since commenting is hard right now, head over to our Instagrams and let us know if you'd like to see more DIY videos. So thanks guys.